Kick miking, part two. Let's listen to three different depths when miking the inside of your kick drum. A side note, I will be using an 18 by 16 Birch kick drum. The kick mic I will be using is a Sennheiser E902, microphone placed just inside the porthole. When the microphone is just inside the porthole, there's a solid attack, punchy, and the tone has some boxiness to it. The microphone picks up some shell tone, it's deep, and it captures nice low end information, which also has a slight boominess to it. Microphone placed center inside the kick. With the microphone halfway inside the drum, the punchiness of the attack is greater. There's a more focused tone, the sound is shorter, and the boxiness is not as hollow. In addition to a nice low end, there's some more mid lows captured, and the boominess is less. Microphone placed one and a half inches away from the batter head inside the kick. At one and a half inches away from the batter head inside the kick drum, the attack is strong, punchy, and almost has a little bit of clickiness to it. The tone is short, focused, and the lows are not as weighty. In addition to the mid lows, we also begin to capture some mid range frequencies. Now these are some of the things that I hear, but I want to know what you're hearing. Where do you place the mic inside your kick drum? 